this is the fifth video of the series and we're adding appointment booking functionality in our WordPress website using the Jet Appointment plugin. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I want to start this video by saying a couple of things. So I started and created the fifth video of the series, basically, and I didn't want to go and dive deep inside the Jet engine, do not want to go into the listings and then create the archive and the single pages so I just went uh, created the forms and add in static pages for the team and for the services and just add those forms inside there and call it a day and end the video then when I review the video and start editing I saw that I was missing a lot of features because you can do more things using the jet engine of course but you have also to create the archive page which is basically just a page with a listing and then you have to go and create the single template for the team for the technicians for me and the services after that now if you want to do that in elementor you have to go into the croco block and use another plugin so if you just bought the two plugins the jet appointment and the jet engine as i've said you have to have both two plugins to create the jet appointment functionality and bought those two plugins only uh, with the pricing per year, then you cannot create the templates that I'm talking about in this video. You have to also go and buy another plugin, which will be the Jet Theme Core. This is the one. If you have this whole suite, then you can go ahead and follow along with this video. So for this video, we're going to create the listings. We're going to create the archive pages, which is basically just the service page and the technician page. And then we're going to create two more pages, uh, two more templates, which will basically be the pages for the single uh, service and the single technician. And those we're going to do it with the Jet Theme Core plugin. So let's go here into the dashboard and I'm going to uh, let's refresh and just uh, install the Jet Theme Core because I don't have it at this moment. Okay, Jet Theme Core, install it. And then let's activate that. Okay, of course I'm going to use it later on, but I will install it and have it ready from now. Let's close that and let's go back to the website. Let's start by first viewing the services. If I go here into the services, here I'm going to see the services. Now, this is the service archive page that it's automatically created and using the cadence theme and the archive settings from there. If I go into the jet engine and go into the post types, I will see that I have created two custom post types, the technician and the services. And if I go here that says post type slug, this, as you can see, is the services. So once I created the custom post type and I add that to have the archive page in the settings, I then got the service URL, as you can see here, and I also got the service archive page. So this is the one URL that I have here. If I go and copy the technicians from here, and go into that. Let's copy and paste that in here, technicians, and hit enter. I will see that I have here the technician page. If I go into the pages, I will see that I don't have the technician page. Here, as you can see, we don't have any page for technician. This is the archive page of the technicians. So it's kind of an archive page for the posts. Now, why I'm talking uh, about this? This is because if you create a page and you have the same URL as the archive page, the technicians, then it may uh, have a conflict inside your WordPress and you may see that you are building something, but you cannot view it in the front end of your website. So be sure to not go and create the same uh, pages, the same URL and with what we have in the custom post settings from the Jet Engine. So I'm going to go into the page that it's called services. And if I go and view that, Let's go and view that. You can see that it's calling up the archive services. And if I go and change that, quick edit, and change that to services, yes, but the slug would be all. 
hyphen services because we cannot have an empty space inside here. Let's update that. Let's go now here. Let's go into the home page in order to refresh the page and let's go again to the services. And if I click now, I will see an empty page because I don't see now the archive page of the services. And this is what I'm going to use in order to create my own uh, page inside Elementor. If you don't do that, then you can create a page, but you will not see it in the front end. Let's go now and edit the page. Now, keep in mind that I'm not going to style everything because this is not a tutorial about Elementor. It's basically a Jet appointment and I have to use also the Jet engine in order to do some of those things. So I'm going to go with Edit with Elementor. And I'm going to start building the page. What I need for the page, something like a hero image. So let's go and add here a section. Inside the section, I'm going to style it. I'm going to put a background type. Let's go and add an image. And this, let's go and add something like this. Okay. Maybe type here services. Maybe type it correctly. Okay, grab the title and put that in the alternative text. Insert media. And now I have that background, so I need also something for the heading. And I can name that as services or all the services or what are our services, our services. OK, let's change a little bit the uh, height. So let's go for minimum height and let's go for 200. OK, and I'm going to switch that to white. OK, and I'm going to put also an overlay color, black. Let's go for black. OK, something like that. Now the image should go into the middle. So let's go and let's check the position and put that center and center. OK, and I think this is better. OK, let's update that. And let's go here and let's go into the service page. And now that it's updated, I'm going to click again the services. Now it will have the new URL. So this is the page. Now, here I'm going to add the listings with the services. And when I say listing, I mean I will add all the services that I have, a card next to a card next to a card. Card means that it's a blog. It's something that has all the information that I'm going to put for one service. And this card will be repeated how many times I have those services inside my website. This is fetched dynamically for, uh, from Crocoblocks and this will help us. So if you handle over your website into a client, the client can go into the services. He can go and uh, watch the services here and then he may want to change that from change tires to do something different or he can go and create a new service. And this will be automatically added inside the services right here. So you don't have to go into the page and change anything inside there. Everything that will be changed into the services will change into the front end as well. So we have an element to do that. And let's add here a section. And we have an element to do that, the listing element. But before be able to see the listings inside here, we have to go and add the listings for Crocoblock inside the listing into the Jet Engine. So this is the element that I'm talking about, the listing grid. If I go and add that inside here, I can go here and select a listing from here. But I don't have anything that I can show at this moment. So I'm going just to update that. And let's go now here, let's go into the jet engines and let's go into listings. Here I'm going to add a new listing. Now let me repeat what is a listing because this is jet engine territory, jet engine tutorial. Again, listing is a card, is a single card that it contains all the information from the service that I'm going to add. Think it as uh, when you're viewing the e-commerce or WooCommerce website and you're viewing all the products, one product inside the all product page is a card that contains the image of the product, the title of the product, the price and a button that will go straight ahead into that product. That's a card, that's a single listing. That's what we're going to create right now. So let's click add new. Here we're going to leave it as post and then we're going to change that as 
services because this is where it's going to grab automatically all the data. And then we're going to put a name so we can separate the exact same listing from all the others that we're going to make later on. This can be service listing or single service card or whatever you want to, to name it. You can name it whatever you want, but just be sure that you are going to remember it later on and you can identify it when you see it. So services, listing, card for me. Let's go with that. I'm going to select Elementor, of course, and I'm going to create that listing item. Now, once this is open, I have to go into the services, not have to, but I want to go. I'm going to select add new. And here I will have all the information from the services. This is when my client or myself, I'm going to create a new service. I'm going to fill out all those information. That was what happened in the second video of the series. So I want all the information from this page to be grabbed and automatically applied inside here. Of course, this is an archive page, so maybe not everything, not the text that is inside here, maybe the title, maybe the image, or and maybe car and condition or type of car. And then once someone clicks inside there to see this single service, everything will be shown up there. But open this page just to be sure that you're going to use all the necessary fields that you want for an archive page. Let's go and let's start by creating first a section. We're going for one uh, column. And here it would be good if you have a visual of what you're going to create. Do you want to create columns for your archive page? So whenever you go into the services, uh, what we had here, if you remember into the services, we had three columns with the services. Do you want to create three columns with the services or you want to create one column with the service and then after that, another row with the service and after that, another row with this the next service? It depends on what you want to create the layout. So keep in mind that if you want to create something like one row per service or three columns in one row and this will be three separate services so for me i'm going to create uh, three columns with uh, one service per column let's do that here i'm going to add and i'm going to start with an image so you can go and grab that image and then put that dynamically to be the thumbnail or you can go and grab this image from the uh, listing element and I'm going to do that. I'm going to select the dynamic image and I'm going to select that. And this will be the post thumbnail. As you can see, it grabbed uh, at this moment the change tires. I think this is the change tires image. After that, I need the title. So let's go and grab that. Let's go down here and grab the dynamic field. I'm going to put that underneath. Okay, change tires as you can see. And then let's go back and see what we have here. Here we have the car condition for the services and the type of car. And also, I know that we also have the price for uh, a service. So I'm going to copy the type of car. And let's go here. I'm going to duplicate that. Select that. And let's go and change that metadata and then service and type of car and then for the customized field i put i'm going to put here the text that i have copied semicolon and space type of car is car after that i need the price so let's duplicate that once again okay i'm going to select that i'm going here to leave it as select because at this moment again Crocoblox doesn't have any field for the price of the service. Maybe they will add that later, but at this moment they don't have anything. They have forgotten to add that, so I cannot do anything for that. Let's go and hit select here, and I'm going to add the app price. Okay, and now I can go and switch that to maybe a price, service price. service price semicolon space and then the dollar even though i think that i have those in euros doesn't matter okay now i will update that and i will save that as it is i'm going to 
uh, put that inside the Elementor listing grid and we're going to see what changes we're going to do next. Of course, I'm going to put that in the middle, I'm going to reduce the size of the image and I'm going to change a little bit, just a little bit, the layout to make it a little bit better. I'm not going to style the hell out of it because this is not the point of this uh, tutorial. Okay, so here I'm going to select, sorry, here I'm going to select now the listing. Now I have to refresh first the page in order to grab the listing because I create that element before I creating the listing. So now select here and now I can put here the service. Okay, service listing card. This is the one that I want. And as you can see now, it grabbed those uh, template settings and the card is here and just repeated three times. The columns are three and it's repeating three times because I have three services in the website. Let's update that. And now if I go into the front end and refresh here, I will see now that I have those three. So I need to make some changes. As I can see, the images are not the same because clearly these are not the same sizes as an image. So I need to fix that. In order to fix that, uh, the easiest way I think for me is to do it as a background. So I can do that if I want, or I can just switch the image to a different size. Now, remember that you cannot change the settings from here for every card. You have to go into the template and switch the settings from here. This is only for the whole grid, for the three columns, for the element. This is all one element, all of those settings. The whole row is one element. So everything can be changed from here only, the template. So let's go and select the uh, dynamic image and then from the full size I'm going to select something like a thumbnail. Okay, let's update that and see how it looks in the front end. I don't think that this will fix anything, but let's see. Okay, and as you can see, okay, it's now a thumbnail, but it's not looking good. So let's change that to something different. Let's go for medium and update. Refresh into the services. Okay, and as you can see, it's not looking good. So in order to fix that, I'm going to uh, change a little bit the layout. If you have the same images, you can go ahead and continue with that and go into the next step. But for me, I'm going to grab here an intersection. I'm going to put that in here. Okay, let's go and delete that column. And for this column, I'm going to select that. And now I'm going into style. I'm going into background and I'm going to select classic and then I'm going into the dynamic and from the jet engine I'm going to select custom image and for the fill is the post thumbnail. Let's update that and now I have the, the thumbnail here so I can go ahead and delete that. And now that I have here, I need to put a little bit of uh, height because this is just a, a row element with no height. So select the column again. Let's go into the layout and let's go for uh, a little bit of space maybe. Let's go and put a little bit of padding inside here. So let's go for top padding. Let's uncheck that. Okay, unlink those and let's go for 10, 100 and let's go for bottom 100. Okay, this is the padding, let's update that. And if this doesn't work, then it means that I have to just uh, put here a space inside here. Let's go and see if it's going to work in the front end. Okay, clearly it's not working and this is just because I haven't used Elementor for a while and I was thought that this was going to work. Okay, no problem, let's go and add the spacer. This is the spacer. I'm going to put that inside here. And now that I have it in, he in here, I can go and click advanced. And sorry, not advanced, spacer here. And I'm going to put here like 150, 150, not 1,500. Okay, and now I can go back into the column and select for the style and for the background position to be center, center, something like that. Let's update that and see how it looks. Clearly, I have to put a little bit more height. Let's refresh here to see how it looks. Yeah, I need to put a little bit more height. So let's go and put here into the template 
and let's go for 250, not 150, 250. 300. Update. And let's refresh here. And I think that this is better. Now, of course, you can style it however you want. I'm going to go for 250. And I'm going to leave it as this. Now, I'm going to change the uh, tires and I'm going to put that in the middle. So let's go here into the style and let's put that in the middle. The car, I'm going to put that in the middle also. And of course, the price as well. Okay, update that and let's see now. Okay, so we have the name of the service, chain tires, and then we have type of car is car, and the service price is 100. And I also need here a button, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So let's change in here, here the chain tires, and I'm going for content, and I'm going to switch that to H3. And also I'm going to add a button, let's go down here, and we have here the dynamic link, I'm going to put that here this will say read more i'm going to put that in the center once i found where it is here it is align in the center and for the read more i'm going to make it a little bit as a button so let's go into the style let's go for the background type to be maybe blue color with the green with the white uh, text. So let's go for something like that. Okay, something like that. Now remember that I'm, I'm not consistent with the colors and you should be not create something like that because I always change the colors and put randomly colors here. And for the text color, I'm going to put here white. Okay, and we need a little bit of padding. So let's go here and link those. Top, let's go for 10. Bottom, let's go for 10. And here, let's go for 30 in the right and 30 in the left. And let's go for borders radius and put here 10, something like that. Let's update that. And inside the content, inside the permalink, this is the source. So I'm going to see if it's working. Probably, not probably, it will work fine, I think. So let's go and refresh here. We will see the services, read more. So if I go here, as you can see, it will go into the services and then change tires. Of course, I haven't done anything for the template so it's grabbing just the title and the text and not anything else and i have to create also the template for the single services okay now that we have created that page we can now go and create the same page for the team for the technicians now for me in order to speed up the process i'm going to go into the jet engines let's go into listings and here i'm going to duplicate that and since I don't have a duplicate here, I'm going to just open that. Uh, I'm going to open a new one and I'm going to copy everything first and then just change the things that it's grabbing. So let's go and add a new one and I'm going to copy the title. Add a new one. This is the post again. And for the post, we're now into the technicians. And here we're going to copy that and put here technicians. Technicians listing card with Elemento, create that and let's go here and here I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to copy that and let's go here and I'm going to paste that inside here. Paste. Okay, now uh, of course uh, this will take uh, some information because this is again the thumbnail so it will work. The image is not correctly again. But it doesn't matter. Let's go and see the uh, title. This is the title. And then we have this one, which is not going to work because I don't need the type of car for the services. I need to put something from the technicians. I have the year of services, year in the company, slot duration, buffer before slot, buffer after slot, and related services. So I'm going for maybe the related services. Uh, sorry, years uh, in the company, no, years of experience. So this is the field that I want, years of experience, and I'm going to change that with years of experience. Okay, and then I have the service price for him. Now, if I go here, I will see that this is correct. And uh, if 
this one has a different price, then it will show to me. If he hasn't any price, I will see nothing if he doesn't have any other price. So I would like here to have an alternative and add the price from the service that he's going to offer, but I don't have that feature inside here. So I can put here like same as the service that they are offering, but I don't like that in the uh, page, in the archive page of my technicians. So I'm going to remove that at all and I'm not going to have the price inside here. So let's go and remove that, delete that and update that. Okay, now that I have this one, let's go back into the uh, services here. Let's go into the pages, add new page. I'm going to name it as technicians. Okay, I'm going to publish that. Now remember that I have to switch the URL so it will not be the same exactly. I don't want that to have uh, technicians. I'm going to edit that. Let's close that and let's go into the permalink and switch that to our technicians. Our technicians, okay. Update that. And now I can go into the menu. and I can go and grab the technicians and add them in here. Okay, save that. Let's go back to the page. Let's edit that with Elementor. And of course, I'm going to copy the Elementor listing from here. Let's close that as well. I think we're okay. Now let's leave it open to see if we want to change anything. Let's close that. And here I'm going to grab that, copy that, and let's paste it inside that page paste and then let's go here and grab the next one copy and let's go here and paste that in here so I'm going to close that so let's go back here instead of our services this is our technicians probably you have to also switch the image and make something different and here I'm going to select that and now for the listing I'm going to switch that to something different so I want that technicians not services so let's type tech and we need technician listing card this is the one okay now i have the technicians now of course i have six technicians so as you can see i have six technicians right here and none of those are looking good inside here let's update that and let's go back into the front end and let's refresh here the page and if i now go into the technician page i will see that i have all my technicians inside here i'm not going to change the image again i'm not going to style the card uh, i'm not going to change anything at all right here you know how to use elementor probably hopefully and you're going to style however you want all of those things now it's the time to go and create the single service template and the single technician template let's close those two Okay, and let's go here and let's go into the theme builder. This is the one that we installed in the beginning of the video. And we need to go into the single. This is where we're going to add those uh, two templates. We're going to click add new. And here, as you can see, it says single. And then we're going to add the title so we can remember what we're building. And this will be the single. Single. Service. template service single template something like that create a template and it will go of course straight ahead with Elementor and let's start building it first we need to go into the uh, settings here and let's go into the conditions let's go into the conditions and here I'm going to select singular I'm going to select the post type and then I'm going to select services. So this will be only applied into the services because uh, Elementor doesn't know where this template applied. So it will only apply for those post types that are services. If you don't do that, then you will not see that inside the services. Then we can go ahead and select something to preview. So it will fetch those metadata inside here, services, and let's go for tires. 
change tires and let's publish that. Okay, now it's published, so let's go back here and we're going to start by first going and selecting that. I'm going then to add an image, so let's go and add the dynamic image. And this will be the post thumbnail. And then we're going, let's open now the services. So let's go back here. Let's go into the dashboard and let's go. You can open a service that you have already created or you can open a new service, whatever you want. So let's go to the services and let's go into the service and let's go into the change tires. Change tires. Let's edit that to see what fields we have inside here. We want to add all those fields inside here. This is why we're creating those custom single templates in order to create all of those information and add those inside that pages. So we want first the title, we want the content, and we want two fields, the car conditions and the type of car. Those are the two fields that we want after that. Let's go and start with the title. Maybe create another section just to have it separated and then we're going for the title. Let's go here. Dynamic field, we're going inside here. Okay, and let's put that like an H1 and put that in the middle. After that, we need to put the content. So let's add here another dynamic field underneath. And I'm going to select here to be uh, data or you can select here from title. This is better, I think. Yeah, and select content. Okay, now we have the content and maybe you can put a little bit of space down here, doesn't matter. And down here I'm going to add an intersection with two columns to add the extra fields, the car condition and the car, the type of car. So car condition. Let's add another dynamic data. Dynamic field, let's add it inside here and I'm going to select here metadata and car condition car condition is the one that I copied okay so let's customize the output and put here the text then a semicolon and then a space and after that I'm going to duplicate that grab it and put it in the next column And here I'm going to change that from car condition to type of car and I'm going to copy the type of car text and paste it inside here. Okay, maybe that should say type of vehicle and not type of car, but it doesn't matter. So now that I have created that uh, field, that template, I can now go into the front end. Let's go into the services. And now if I go and see one service of those, let's go and read more, we will see that it's grabbing the template that we created. Okay, it's not grabbing at this moment, so let's fix that. I have the uh, Cadence theme installed and I know that the Cadence theme is not 100% uh, working with uh, Crocoblox, so the Singular is not working because the Cadence theme. Now, I know that they have a solution for the Astra theme. I haven't tested with the Cadence theme, so let's check if it's working. So let's pause the video to enter my uh, account in Crocoblock. Okay, this is the one that I'm talking about, the Jet Theme Core Compatibility Kit that works with Astra, Ocean WP, and Generate Press. Now, they don't say if it's working with Cadence, and I'm not sure, but let's test that because I don't want to change the theme if I can work with another solution. Let's save that in here. Let's replace that in order to have the latest version. Let's close that. And if that is not working, I'm going to switch to another theme. Of course, I'm going to lose the settings for the header. So I have to go and add an icon again and the menu again. Okay, just install the uh, compatibility kit. Okay, let's go here into this one and let's refresh and see if it's going to work. Okay, it didn't work. So I need to change also the theme. Let's go back into the settings here into the Krakow block. Let's go here into the dashboard. And I can switch to Astra or I can go ahead and just uh, install the Kava that they have. 
let's go if it's if it's inside here no it's not it's only for other things so let's uh, let's install the astra let's go into the appearance let's go into the themes add new I had it right here, but I wanted to type something like Astra. Okay, Astra. Install, and hopefully it will work with no other settings. And I'm just going to uh, change the menu, and I'm going to add the menu that it's correct. Okay, it's installing. Let's activate that. Okay, and let's go now and refresh here to see if this is going to work. And as you can see now, it's working fine. As you can see, the template is working with no other settings. Uh, the menu is working, okay, and we have also this bar. And I'm not going to change now how it looks, okay? You can understand how it looks. I'm not going to bother with this type of things. Okay, I'm going to change only that because I don't like how this is looking let's go and customize that and just switch and disable the sidebar okay let's go to sidebar and let's go no sidebar for the default okay and publish that and maybe let's go into the global into the container and put that to be full width contained Okay, let's publish that. Let's go back here and refresh the page. And now, as you can see, we have here the change tires uh, service. Let's go now and create the next template, which will be for the technicians. Now, uh, keep in mind that if you want to use those features with another theme, you have to contact the support and they would probably give you a solution if they can. Maybe they can create... Uh, a child element, a child theme, and you can add that and then have the functionality of Cadence with the Croco block, and you can combine those two. But at this moment, I'm not going to search it and going to work with Astra. So let's close that, the change tires, and let's go here. No, here. And I'm going to duplicate, of course, all of those settings. But first, we're going to create another template. Let's go into Croco block and the theme builder. Now I'm going to create the single template for the technician. Now, if you have a clone plugin, then you can just clone this service and then just go and edit that, change the name, and of course, change the fields that you want inside the template. I'm just going to create a new, new one and then copy all the fields from the uh, service. Let's go into the single. I'm going to click add new. Let's copy the name. Add new. I'm going to select here single as it is and of course into the template I'm going to paste and then change that to technicians. Or technician single template. Okay, create template. And here I'm going to copy the section, this one. Copy that. Let's go into here and paste that inside here. paste and then let's go and copy the next section which will include everything from here and let's paste those inside here so we have the full page as i can see now everything from here is copied so here i'm going to close that exit into the dashboard and i'm going straight into the technicians and i'm going to open a technician let's go in technicians and let's open someone peter one yeah, let's edit that in order to see all the fields and the custom fields I have created so I can fetch those into the template. These are all the settings. Let's go back here and here I'm going into the settings and I'm going to check for the conditions first. Into here general, I'm going to select singular, singular, I'm going to select post type and for the post type, those are the technicians. After that, for the preview, I'm going to select those technicians and here since we have Peter already I'm going to select Peter Peter 1 okay and then for the general I'm going to select for the status to be published 
let's update those settings and if you see nothing that is changed here then just go and refresh the page let's do that let's wait okay so now I have Peter one I have his uh, name here and I have the content and I just need to go and change those fields those custom fields let's go back into the technicians this is the one so I have certificates I have years of experience and years in the company I'm going to copy first years of experience let's go here and let's click those uh, dynamic field th that dynamic field and here I'm going to paste the years of experience and I'm going to change the meta field into the technicians years of experience let's wait for that to load okay and then let's go back into the Peter one I'm going to copy years in the company and let's go back into Elementor select that field and change that from type of car into years in the company okay not company let's go and change that and put here a P company and let's go into the meta field and select years in the company this is the one after that we just need the certificates here I have two certificates and I should probably do something in order to see those two certificates and let's go and see I'm going to do that in a third column of course you can create another row if you want I'm going to just going to duplicate that and let's go and click here here we're going to select as the meta field to be certificates and this will bring us these numbers let's go and disable the custom field output so now we have the IDs of the pages of the certificates not pages of the images so what I need now is to convert those two numbers into the actual images I have to go into the filter field output and for the callback I have to select here for the uh, get images by ID now as you can see I can only select here one image if you have also the dead elements then you will find here something that will say image gallery grid so you can add that and show all the images here if you don't have then you should create this uh, field as many times as you have in order to show all the images and probably put an offset to the second third and fourth one in order not to show the same image all over again also you can do the same by adding here the field that is dynamic image and let's put that in here and if I select here the dynamic image I can see that it now says post thumbnail I have to go and put here select so then I have to go and select the custom meta field and in order to find that I have to go into the jet engines into the post types and then into the technicians and I will see the slug that I have for the meta fields and this is the certificate so I have the name ID the slug certificates I can copy that let's close that and let's go back into the Elementor and paste that in here and this will bring the same image as you can see for me I'm going to delete that and I'm just going to leave an image as a certificate let's update that and just put those two fields into the middle middle and this one in the middle again and now let's update that and let's go and see the technicians let's go here let's open the technicians and let's go and see Dave or Peter one read more and as you can see this is the template that I have created so now that I have created all those templates I can now just go and create the two forms that I want one form is for the services and the other form will be for the technicians the form into the technicians is going to miss of course the field for the technician because you already seen the technician that you have in here and you're just going to fill out the form and select Peter one and the same goes for the services it will miss the service that you are going to see so you will only going to choose between the technicians that offering that service